hello, hello, party people. How are we doing today? Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we have an unboxing. Now, one, it's already got dog fur on. It's been in the house two seconds. One, it got a little beat up, and I'm really hoping that that does not affect what's inside. All right, so as you've probably seen from the title, this comes to us from the Hankin store on AliExpress. Now, quite a few of you in my live about three weeks ago kept asking about, will you review this store? And I was like, yeah, sure. I had never heard of it. So I went and looked on AliExpress, found a couple of paintings I liked, ordered them, and this is how it went. So I ordered two paintings. Um, and I'll have the stats on those when I open the box. I just want to tell you about the shipping experience itself. So I ordered on the 23rd of June. They printed the shipping label onto 27th of June, so four days later. And then it sat pending acceptance from June 27th until July 9th when it started moving again. Now, when I ordered these, they had the option of getting them from within the U.S. or from China, which obviously since I live in the U.S., that was no, a no-brainer. I was like, get them sooner? Yes. Yes. Um, and they both said that they were coming from the U.S., so I was like, all right, cool. Thinking that I'd have it here, you know, the next following week or something, and I didn't, and so I sat looking and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and wait. I was like, you know, why, why did it take you over nine days or about nine days to ship this out to me? Like, why did it take it nine days to move? Um, so... It, like I said, it, it got, it started moving on July 9th again. From the 27th until the 9th, there was nothing. And then on July 9th, it started moving and I got it July 15th, which was yesterday. You're seeing this on the 16th. Anywho, so that was the shipping experience within itself. So I might as well have ordered it from China because it took just as long. Um, and again, I'm really hoping that that does not affect what's inside. So all that jibba jabbing. Let's get into it, shall we? And whatever is on the package, it's sticky. Like there's sticky residue on this package. This package has been through hell and back. Let me just tell you, like this trash bag material on it is filthy and disgusting. So we're gonna hurry up and strip that off there. But hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. I was having a wonderful day until I saw this box. Now, keep in mind, you don't drill the box. So as long as the box did its job, then we're cool. So we're going to get rid of this trash bag material over here. All right, so we're going to open the box. And it looks like it just got shifted to the side. So let's see. All right, so looks like there's no foam core. And this is how they ship the paintings. So there's nothing else in the box. Get that box the hell out of here. All right, so the top of it here is bent up, which, you know, you just poke that out, you know, it is what it is. Now, if I have to do too much doctoring to this, this coffee is not going to be very happy. So we're going to get this tape off because, you know, apparently they need that tape on there so badly. So we're going to get the tape off without ruining the painting. If you have ordered from this store... Write your experience down in the comment section because I would like to hear what everybody else's experience is with shipping because if it's always like that, then I know what to expect if I decide to order from them again. All right, so we're playing Operation here with our canvas. Y'all remember that old school game, Operation? You hit that little buzzer. It was, a, it was an anxiety attack waiting to happen. Oh, it was one of my favorite games, though, because I always thought that I was like a doctor like my dad. I was like, ooh. I can be like Paul, or I can be like Daddy, and you know I can be a doctor. When in reality, I'm just messing with metal on metal and making buzzer noises. Okay, why is this harder than Chinese algebra? Like, what is going on? It is tape. All right, we'll we'll get through it, folks. All right, up, up, up! Come on, come on, come, come on! There we go. All right, so that took forever. Now, I am already going to say one, 
I don't mind if they roll it up around the drills as long as it doesn't mess up the painting. And like I said, this little area right here, I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that. The little area right there kind of got bunched up, but that's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's just a little bump. So we're going to pull them apart. We're going to put this one off to the side. We're going to work and look at this one. Because, of course, this is the one that I'm really hoping is okay. So you get your pumpkin spice tool kit. Y'all don't care about no damn tool kit. And this is what I ordered. It's a gel helmet. Now. For those of you who know my dad, who y'all call, y'all calls, who you guys call Papa, Papa is a fan of two really big teams. He's a fan of Alabama State, and he's a fan of the Jets, because of course, Papa is from New York. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, I can work that up for Papa. So I got it, and I'm hoping it's okay. So... It looks like it has 22 colors, so they get brownie points because there was an actual inventory sheet in here, and from the looks of it, these symbols look really good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have trouble with any of those symbols. And it is a square, I believe. I'm going to let that relax a little bit. Yes, it is a square. I've noticed that more and more of the paintings I order are squares. I need to order some more rounds. Okay, that wasn't their fault. That was me. Sometimes these uh, canvases have that little fray thing on the side, but that is an oil canvas, so it's not doing anything to it. And uh, opaque paper is in one piece. Oh my God, that looks good. All right, so it's in one piece. Now the legend on the side right here, uh, we're going to zoom you in a little bit. There we go. The legend on the side right there is really, really small, like literally the size of my finger. So... You know, if you were looking at that, that might be an issue for you, but I have the legend, so I'm not too worried about that. So let's zoom you back out. Take a look at this. Yeah, see that bunching up at the top was just that. It's just bunching up. Oh my God. Okay, get rid of these drills. My table's only about so big, folks. All right, so we're not going to pull that all the way off. We're going to pull it off to about right there. So there you got it, folks. That's a lot of green. <laughs> I actually want to work on this one because uh, it won't take me that long. It's a lot of color blocking, and I, 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 I would beg to get out of the confetti hell that I'm in right now. So, yeah, like, does anybody else, like, notice a smell? Not like a bad smell, like a canvas smell. Like, you can smell the glue. I love that smell. So, we're going to look at the drill field. Can you see that drill field? nice and clear and again it only has 22 colors because you know most of it's green we're gonna pull this other side off yeah i think i am i think i'm gonna kit this one up and work on it matter of fact i'm gonna use my new storage that i got the rainbow one which you will see that storage video probably thursday but Wow, like that looks really, really freaking good. There's no bubbles in the canvas. It's a little lumpy because, and that's why a lot of people like it on the foam rollers because when you put it around the drills, okay, when you put it around the drills, the ridges you see are from the sides of the drills because the drills are rounded up top here, but then, you know, you have those sharp turns in the drills, like right here, how it goes from rounded to flat and then back to rounded. So it forms those little waves in your canvas which will not affect your canvas it won't affect it at all uh oh okay so it also does have two legends on it it has a legend down here at the bottom and then it has another legend on the other side they're both really small the glue does come out a little bit um which is not a problem again i showed you guys how to get rid of that but the glue comes out to about right here which is almost halfway to the end of the canvas again not a problem because when you go to frame it it will, uh, it'll probably get cut off anyways. So, yeah. All right. So we're going to flip this over. Shabam. Um, we're going to pause you for a second. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to do inventory, obviously, because, you know, I got to make sure everything's there and good for it because I want to kit it up. So if you're a person that does not like the crinkling noise of the plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 
30 seconds or until you see me stop struggling. All right, we're really struggling here. All right, and it has a little note here. Uh, I guess it tells you how to diamond paint. It tells you the brand is C-R-P-S-E-N. Which, if you want to pause that and read it, that's all. That's that's your business. I can't tell you what to do with your life. All right. So it has 22 colors, and it looks like they're in the bag in an orderly fashion. Daisy, stop trying to look that box. Sorry, you guys. Daisy's being extra. All right. So we're gonna try to get these out of here nice and neatly. So we're just. No. Ah. Oh, no. Uh, eh, eh, eh. There. All right. Because they look like they are in order, and I don't want to mess that up because it makes it easier for inventory. So we're going to do this like a ball so you don't get bored watching me count diamonds. And then when I come back, I'll let you know if I have everything. Okay, you ready? Go. All right, so all the drills are there. They actually look really good. Uh, some of the packages were a little hard to read. Not again, again, not a big deal, not a big deal. So, so far, I really like this hand skin company. They, they get a thumbs up for this one. So uh, sometimes I like to write little notes to myself in case I go back to go work on that painting. And again, like I said, matter of fact, This is a container I'm talking about for my storage. Uh, if you guys watched Stitcherista, she may mention that she asked me one morning, had I ever seen a storage container that was bigger than the littler size like this? And I told her no. And then she found this on AliExpress. So like, I was like, oh, I have to get me a couple of those. So I got two of them and they each have like their own little four things that come out. One, two, three, why are you like that? Sit up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven and four is what? Something. So you have two of those. So anyways, we don't do math here. All right, so that's what I'm gonna kit this up in. I'm actually gonna kit this up right after this video because I wanna work on that for my dad. So let's move on to the next painting, shall we? So we're gonna put this to the side over here and let's look at this next one. Now this next one, uh, okay, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna say this. I don't know what's wrong with me, okay? I don't know what's wrong with me with animals. I, I'm not a big animal person, but you know, your mind can change as much as you can change your draws, right? Like, right? Like who else's mind changes all the time? Either way. I, I like fish, but, and I know if Laura's watching this, she's gonna say so. I like koi fish. Okay, so this next painting, I don't know. Oh, okay, it's in this bag. Another pumpkin spice. You don't give a shit about that. All right, another kit. This is what that other kit looks like. There's a black cat with a golden tail. And it looks like it has a clock around the tail. And then there's clocks on the actual fish. Again, they have the inventory sheet. So let's look at those symbols. Looks like this store does really good with their symbols and making sure that they're all nice and bright. And if they're not, uh, they use, if it's a bright symbol, it has a dark background, which is really good. Uh, cause you want to be able to see. So as you can see the back of that, oh, oh, I'm creating something there. I just created something. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. All right. So we're going to roll this off the edge of the table here. Before it did anything. 
Awesome. All right. So this is what this picture looks like. Now, it is gorgeous. Okay. I'm really in it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. This, the Jets painting, if you didn't see, is a 50 by 30. Okay. And then this painting is a 30 by 40. And we will measure them. Matter of fact, where's my bag? If you haven't also noticed, down in my description box, I have listed some of the, my favorite places to get accessories. Um, so when you see me pull out like something like this, this comes from Kelly's Creations. Uh, she is over on Facebook, and I have her link down below. It's a junk bag is what it is. So I have a junk bag with all my diamond painting stuff in it. And then I have another junk bag that has my coloring stuff in it. Cool, right? Cool. All right. So we're going to turn this over. This should be 30. So let's measure. No, we're going to wait till this the thing is down. All right. First, let's do one thing at a time, folks. We're trying to do too many things at once. Well, I guess I'm trying to do too many things at once. Y'all ain't doing nothing but watching. All right. And it has the company's name on it again. It does have two legends. It has one at the top here, one at the bottom here. Uh, the symbols look clear as day. Like, oh, nope, I stuck it to the tripod. Jeez. Symbols look clear as day. So that's a plus. We're going to check the other side. The glue doesn't extend too far out on this one, so that's a plus as well. And there we have it. There's a little black cat. And I'm hoping to catch some of that detail because it's a beautiful image. So I'm hoping that it does turn out okay. Um, but yeah, those symbols, those symbols look incredible. Like, And because they're darker symbols, I can always use the light pad. All right, so the symbols look good. The canvas looks good. Let's measure, see if it's true to size. And then we'll check some drills, shall we? All right, so let's see. So it's supposed to be 30 by 40. Right on the money for that one. This one, sorry, I know you can't see me, but Yep, that one also is true to size. So it's true to size, you guys. Minus that shipping problem, I think this is actually a pretty good company so far. So we're gonna flip that over, make sure it's nice and flat. Sometimes on the back you can see the little bubbles trying to form. So I like to smooth them out before they cause any issues. You can hear like little snapping and crackling because of the bubbles being released. And if you have your uh, straightener tool, you can do it too. Just lightly do it on the back of the painting. All right, one more bubble. Maybe. All right, that's enough fiddling with that. So again, if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, Mute your phone for like 30 seconds, okay? Okay. All right, so let's see. How many colors does this one have? This one has 35 colors. And again, this is what it's going to look like. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. But yeah, those symbols actually look really good. So let's look at these drills, shall we? And again, this is another square. Plus if I get tired of squares, I can always go back to uh, Swan Lake that I never finished. Don't judge me. All right, so we're gonna do this like a boss again. 
And when I come back, I'll let you know what if, if I have everything. Uh, something I didn't notice on the other one, but I see it on this one, and it is on the other one. I just didn't happen to see it. Um, it's already been checked. Um, and they have, like, their five-star customer support. So if you have any issues, you can contact them. If you're not satisfied with what you got, and they're going to help you out. Either way. We're going to check to make sure they got all these drills up in this piece. And when I come back, we'll get some final thoughts going. Ready? Go. drills are there all accounted for so what do I think of this store honestly it's probably one of the better stores I've found on Aliexpress shipping was a little extra they were a little extra with shipping but all good things come to those who wait pages and a virtue and all that fun jazz so was it worth the wait it definitely was these are two beautiful canvases the drills quality looks really good um, I there's always something negative about a company, and the only thing negative I can say about this company is the fact that shipping was a little wonky. Other than that, the canvases came in great condition. The box did its job. It kept the canvases from being damaged. So am I happy with what I got? Heck yeah. So if you have not heard of this store on AliExpress, go check them out right now. Right now. Now don't, now don't, don't leave the video. You finish watching the video, and then you go check them out. Anyways. So yeah. So those are the two paintings I got from the Hankin store. Thank you for everyone who suggested, because I think it was like three people that asked me to look into this store. So thank you guys so much for asking me to look into this store. If there are stores out there on AliExpress or anywhere that you would like me to try, please feel free to comment that those stores in any one of my videos at any time, and I will go have a looky seat. So with that said, that is it for me, folks. I am going to go back into mommy mode and go mess with some kids. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great day and I hope you continue to have a great day from here on out. With that said, if you're not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I go and post a video because it can be random. With that said, I'm going to bid you adieu and remind you to always try to be kind be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.